There's a lot going on there. This week at The Rock Project, we are learning Every You, Every Me by Placebo. Weird title because the chorus says Every Me and Every You, but the title of the song is Every You, Every Me. Hey, yeah. Placebo were a band uh, from the UK in the 90s. A really, really cool band. I enjoy Placebo's music. They've got some really good albums. If you have the opportunity, check them out. Um, I won't be playing the song on the video today because of copyright reasons. So if you just get up another tab, type in Every You, Every Me by Placebo, you can have a listen to the song and then maybe come back to the video and I can teach you the separate parts. Uh, again, I want to preface this video by I'm not much of a drummer. I've, I've learned a bit over the years, but uh, I'm here to help you play this bit here. So, this song is broken down into two parts. We've got a verse and we've got a chorus. The verse drums, what was played on the drums in the verse, is different to what's played on the drums in the chorus. But it's only two different sections, meaning that we go from one to the other. So I'm going to show you what we play in the verse first. So in the bass part, the bass drum, we've got one and three and. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and simple enough. Um, on the recording, they do actually do a one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, which you're welcome to do. It's just an extra beat, um, not extra beat, sorry, an extra drum kick. But I, I think it's easier for now to just set alone one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. The right hand on the high closed hi hat. Keeping the pulse. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then the left hand on the snare. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Put it all together, we've got one, two, three, four. the verse part. Um, at the end of every, I think, eight, there's a nice crash cymbal. Now, we're going to do the crash cymbal when it changes sections. So you want to put it on the end of that section. And then we change to the next drum beat. So the next drum beat, the bass pedal, we're just doing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nothing too tricky there with that one. This next bit is, is the, on the hi hat and the snare is my nemesis. <laughs> it appears in a lot of songs, and I always find it super tricky. So I'm always practicing this in different places. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And 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 See, it's really quite hard. faster than that though on the record we've got as you can see it's quite hard to keep up I said before I'm not much of a drummer so I'm gonna slow it down just so you can see be good to practice that one and two and three and four and five six and one and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a there's a lot going on there so let's break it down a lot slower. On the hi hat, we're going one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Except we're not playing all of that on here because we're gonna put the snare in. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three. So that's how you need to break it down. So you're still hitting the snare. So if we were to take the, the, the hi-hat away, this is what we'd have. We 
just need to make sure we're playing these sixteenth notes on here. To facilitate that and make that easier, make sure you're starting this hi hat pattern with the right hand because that leaves us the pattern right, right, left, 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 If you're at the session and the rest of the band is playing this song up to speed, I don't recommend trying this if it's too hard for you. There's nothing wrong just playing this steady beat. So instead of doing, we can just do this for now. So while, while you're at the sessions, you can play that nice and simple. And then at home, you can practice the... So you get up to speed. So it should sound a bit like this all together. So the first part. Then. Again, up to speed it's quite hard, so I'm actually going to repeat that and we'll do it slower. So we're going to try that, I'm going to show you that now a lot slower, but all together, just so you can practice it and see, slow, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. to change As with all practice, with something that's quite technically difficult, uh, even if it seems simple but fast, the best thing you can do for your playing, whether you're on guitar, whether you're on bass, whether you're on drums, or even when you're on singing, slow it right down. If you can't play it slow, you can't play it fast. If you can play it slow, you can play it fast. So it's worth investing in a metronome if you can. I know that the beat for the BPM for this song is 130. You can slow it down to 100 and then work on your beat at a slower, slower tempo and then gradually increase it as you get to the end, um, as we get to the end of your practice and then try and get up to speed. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and you can get a lot of practice in on placebo every you and every me. If you'd like to come along for a session, then do look us up at therockproject.com. We have sessions in Bath. Trowbridge, Chippenham, Cainsham and Swindon. You can learn the drums, you can learn guitar, you can learn bass guitar, you can learn vocals and then you also at the same evening get to get together as a band and play music. And uh, practice hard and I'll see you soon.